Hello YouTube, I'm Jérôme Renogou and today we're gonna do a video on how I do an underwater video. Hello, hello YouTube. Today we're gonna talk about the camera setting. Think about the environment. When you shoot underwater videos, you don't want to damage the environment. So always make sure that you have a good buoyancy, or if you want to shoot macro video, that you have a negative buoyancy and that you're placed in a spot where you're not gonna damage anything. In this video, we're gonna talk about the settings I use to make my underwater video. First of all, image size. For the image size, I use 4K. Actually, the quality is better and I will be able to use it down the road later on in a year or two when most shots will be taken with 4K, I will still be able to use my shots. Right now, I'm uploading my videos on full HD but it's still useful because I can either use the full image and downgrade it on post-production or if I want, I can zoom in my subject and have a still big image, big enough for full HD and crop four times my picture. So when I'm filming macro photography, macro subject actually, then it makes it easier to have very small subject and still fill the frame. Always filming with 25 images per second. That's what helps me the best to do a nice cinematic view and have motion blur and have a nice video. Because I'm filming with 25 frames per second, actually I have to put my speed at 1 over 50. Those two numbers have to be related. For the ISO, normally I try to pick an ISO of 640. I realized it was the best for me. When I do wide angle, it allows me to have a big number aperture, which makes my subject in focus, even if it's a big one. And when I'm shooting macro, because my lights are powerful, but not so powerful, by using an ISO of 640, I can have a big F number, a big aperture, so have most of my subject in focus and make it easier. For the white balance, I use manual white balance when I'm doing macro photography and macro video because I bring a lot of light and then I will adjust my white balance manually. So I decide the temperature I want to have. When I'm doing wide angle, I realized it was easier and with very good result to use the underwater white balance of my camera. The only little problem is that the first couple of seconds of my shots have a different color than the rest, but then the color is quite good and easy to process after that with my editing. For the focus zone, it will depend if I want to do macro video or wide angle video. If I'm doing macro video, I will use the adjustable point, so I will have the point placed in exactly one position and decide where I want to do my focus. But if I want to do wide angle, then I will take a zone and I will have as big as possible as a zone. Like this, I can have my subject sharp even if it's a moving subject. I personally shoot using the autofocus. I know it would be sharper in some situations, especially for macro to use the manual focus, but most of the time I'm quite pleased with the results. It is not perfect, but it's really helpful to be able to concentrate only on the composition, following the subject and lighting, than to have to also do the manual focus and then have to deal with my subject moving back and forth. Hello video, today we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the camera setting. 
If you like this video, don't hesitate to put a like, a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Bye-bye, see you next time.